Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more of that Mega Man Zero action. So, today, I skipped all the nonsense with the stuff. It doesn't matter. What, it, what does matter is that, yeah, see, I upgraded my blade. He can use this weird um, spinning attack thing. But, uh, yeah. So, today, we're going after another one of the Guardians of, of Copy X. And she is one of the few women that actually show up as an enemy in the Mega Man franchise in general, which is kind of cool, but kind of a little weird. She is, um, I don't want to say the weakest one out of all of the guys, but eh, let's be honest, she kind of is. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it doesn't matter because she uses ice as a weapon. And uh, she actually fights with the trident, which is cool because you don't see a lot of enemies fight with tridents. You see swords, axes, you know, stuff like that. But uh, sword, I mean, you know, uh, tridents are kind of an acquired taste. You don't see a lot of tridents. But she does use one. And she's very, uh, very well equipped to use it. <laughs> Let's just say that. Yeah, I always, I always had fun fighting her, you know. But like I said, I'm pretty sure she's the weakest of, out of the Guardians, in my opinion, you know. But, you know, it is what it is. You always kind of fight her in, like, a aquatic environment. Um, but, yeah. She likes to, like, use water because that's her element, I guess. I mean, none of the other guys really have their own elemental attacks. I mean, Fenrir, I guess he's fire, but he's mostly, like... And he uses like weird green fire things. And uh, Harpuya uses, um, well, flight and swords and stuff. So he doesn't really have an element. And the fourth guy that we're going to be fighting, he doesn't have an element either. Um, he's like, the fourth guy is like a ninja. So he doesn't really use an element. So I don't know. There's a thing up there, but I never really figured out how to get up there. But so whatever. Yeah, uh, also, don't get hit in the face with some rockets because you're going to die. But <laughs> yeah, enough of that. Um, but yeah, if you wait to get up here, there's like a free life. Sometimes there's like... Other times there's... Um, what are they called? Freaking... There's like a full charge of health up there. Uh, what that means is just like... Um, <laughs> it doesn't matter how, many, how much life you lost. It always goes up to full. It's like full charge of health. But uh, yeah, so CL opened the door for us, and we're still we're here to stop the hacking of the base, I guess. I don't know. But uh, yeah, you um, you're not uh, required to look through all these cells that you rescued the guys from like a couple episodes ago, but I highly recommend that you do because um, <laughs> I highly recommend that you do because there are like cyber elves and health and money and stuff like that so yeah you're not required to do any of this but i highly recommend that you do also um the the girl's name who you're gonna fight her name is leviathan and um she's to fire which is the weirdest thing to me you know because one we're underwater so fire shouldn't work at all Two, she uses ice, so she I don't know how she's weak to it. And three, you would think that electricity, you know, might be the best weapon to use against her because, you know, in water, but it's fire, you know? These weaknesses have always puzzled me, you know? You think you think that you understand weaknesses and this and this and this, you know, are what everybody's weak against, but no. It's just, it's so confusing sometimes, I swear. <laughs> Like, I know this now because out of, you know, trial and error. And I didn't look any of this up because, you know, I played this game, you know, way back in the day when internet wasn't a thing. So, well, it was a thing, but I didn't use it. But, um, hmm. But yeah, I didn't look up any of the weaknesses. I just did this on my own. And uh, I'm kind of proud of that. <laughs> you know, that's why that's how you get a history with this game because you do, you know, trial and error and everything like that. Like those spikes in the beginning, I used to die all the time on those spikes. But these days, I'm just like blazing through it because, you know, muscle memory, I guess. I don't know. And uh, yeah, so we got all the things in here. It's time for us to do what we actually came here to do, and that's to stop the hacking. 
The computer in here is weird. It's not really a computer. I mean, it maybe is, but it looks kind of weird. But we'll get to that. And it has like these giant cell things, but whatever. So yeah, uh, we came here before, but this area is supposed to be hidden. Whatever. But yeah, basically what you have to do, this, this, this whole thing is one giant computer. What you have to do is uh, destroy it. So yeah, these things in here have sometimes lives, sometimes like energy and cyber elves. I don't know why they're stored in here, but they are. Yep, yep, the, uh, the attack has stopped on the base. So uh, yeah, basically our job is supposed to be over, but it's not. At first, when I first saw this, I was just like, wait, what What are we supposed to do? I don't understand. Yeah, um, this, these are the ones that we got. Those big ass ones are the ones that you want to evolve, but they take so much energy. So yeah, so, yeah as I was saying, um, there's like so much things. Um, what was I saying? Right, it's like the mission's supposed to be over. You destroyed the thing, but it's not because we still got a bus to fight, you know. She gets in your way, so you know you gotta kill her. You technically don't kill her, but um, because she shows up later, and the surprise, um, she shows up in other games. Yeah, um, yeah, CL's just like, hey, something's near, so careful, bro. And she was just like, don't worry, I got this. Look who's here. My name is Leviathan, one of the four guardians of Master X. So yeah, she's one of the only girls. After hearing so much about you from uh, Pretty Boy and the Combat Nerd, I had to come looking forward to it. She's talking about um, Harpuya and Fenrir. Can't wait to find out, like... Yeah, basically she's hitting on Zero. It's their way of flirting is to fight to the death. So <laughs> I can respect that. It's kind of hot. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, she has a weird uh, sort of spear trident thing, which is kind of cool. Yeah, so her attacks usually involve either ice or her shooting those weird projectiles at you. She is probably, her attacks are probably the hardest to dodge out of all three of them. The one that's kind of harder is the ninja, but we'll get to him. Yeah, she does this weird, like, ice attacks and this shield thing. Yeah, she, um, yeah, like I said, she's weak to fire for some reason, which I don't understand. It seems like a stupid, but, you know, whatever. It's her weakness. I mean, it's kind of smart, you know, disguising your weakness as something that, uh, you know, you should be uh, strong against. I guess that makes sense, because at first I thought her weakness was electricity, but it's not. It's like, surprise! Why didn't you finish me off? Are you showing me mercy? How rude. I told you not to hold back. Next time we meet, you better give me your best. Farewell. Yeah, I always thought of it, it was kind of weird, like, she might have a crush on Zero, because... He's so strong or something like that. You know, like like typical anime type thing. That's that's what I always thought, that she had a crush on him. But maybe that's just me. Attempts are, are to hack on our base have ceased. Thanks to you. I'll do my best to achieve my mission to develop a... Utopia or something. I don't know. But um, that's it for this episode. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Goodbye.